Speaker, the Prime Minister is spreading misinformation that the member for Wellington Halton Hills had been briefed by CSIS two years ago that his family had been targeted by a Beijing diplomat. The Prime Minister knows this to be untrue. In fact, it was the Prime Minister who knew about it for two years, did nothing, and kept the member in the dark. Now that he is resorting to victim blaming, how much lower can the Prime Minister go? Okay. The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, it never ceases to amaze me how absurd the suggestions can be in this chamber from the Conservative Party on this issue. Of course, we have regard for the member for Wellington and Halton Hills. Of course, we have regard for the safety and security for all members in this chamber so that we can exercise our constitutional responsibilities by representing our constituents and doing so free and, and, and clear from any foreign interference. That's why we are putting in place all of the authorities and the transparency that is necessary to do that. And it's far since past the time in which the Conservatives need to abandon their rhetoric on this and get behind the hard work, rolling up their sleeves, so we can defend our democracy. The Honourable Member for St. Albert, Edmonton. Mr. Speaker, for two years, the Prime Minister covered up that a Beijing diplomat targeted the family of the member for Wellington Halton Hills. Then, when it became public, he falsely claimed that he knew nothing about it. And now he is spreading misinformation in a disgraceful attempt to impugn the character of the member who is a victim of the Prime Minister's inaction. Will the Prime Minister show any level of decency? Will he apologize to the member and Canadians for this disgusting display? Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives can shout all they want, but that won't detract the from the work that this government is doing to defend our democracy. That won't detract from the work that we have done in setting up a committee of parliamentarians in, which the Conservatives continue to play Jekyll and Hyde in. One week they sit on it, the next week they don't. They need to abandon these types of political tactics and do the hard work, roll up their sleeves, make sure that, yes, we protect this chamber as a place that is sacred, where we can have debates in the interests of all Canadians. That's what the Conservatives need to do, not continue along the lines of this, this hopped-up rhetoric.